where did you go to school? I was taken from Fort Mackay here and put into a residential school like a lot of the kids were. You were actually taken? Yeah. There were three of us were taken away from here and never returned. Wow. We had total disconnect. A lot of residents go, children would go back for holidays and so on. My sisters and I never came back till we were adults. Wow. How old were you when they came? I was turning seven. I remember it was in December, because it was Christmas time. Wow. I was in for 13 years, and my sister was there for 15 years. Oh, man. Of course, we lost our language. We weren't allowed to speak Cree. Yeah. That was it as bad as they show in the TV? And We were like military raised, really. Very disciplined. You march from one room to another, two by two. I started school not knowing a word of English. The church, they had a, a mission, I guess, mm -hmm. to educate these uh, native people, to kill the Indian in them. Yeah, because it was law, right? I saw it that it was law that they said to, to kill mm -hmm. the Indian in the child. Yes. So, of course, when you're there, you don't know this, you know. You don't know why you can't speak your language. Mm -hmm. You're forbidden to do that. Yeah. So. Wow. I was talking to my mom. We went to visit, you know, the school there that they had, like the mission. Yeah. Because she went there when she was young. Mm -hmm. Her and my mom's oldest sister used to run away from the school. Yeah. And they would go back to my grandparents' place, and they would have to walk on the river, like the snow was like up past their knees. Yeah. But they would get there, the nuns would already be there waiting to take mm. them back. There was a big uh, punishment for running away. They would shave the hair right off. Wow. So that was the uh, consequences. It's so barbaric, eh? 